Hi, I thought it would be helpful to describe the different religious holidays that take place in December in addition to the one you've traditionally grown up with so that you can have more of a, a global understanding. So we're going to go in chronological order. The first is Bodhi Day, which is on December 8th. You may not have heard of it, but it's actually celebrated by the world's largest religion, which is Buddhism. A few billion people celebrate this. December 8th is when Siddhartha Gautama, who is the Buddha, is said to have achieved enlightenment. And this day is celebrated by Buddhists who go into deep meditation on December 8th. That is Bodhi Day. Also on December 8th, I think it's fascinating that a lot of the religions have the same sacred ground and the same sacred days. So clearly there is a divine element to those times and places. Also on December 8th is Immaculate Conception Day, which is celebrated by several million Catholics to honor the Virgin Mary, who is said to have been born without original sin. This day, Immaculate Conception Day, is celebrated by, of course, going to church, by feasting, by prayer, and by Catholic ritual. Then, on December 12th, we have the feast day of Our Lady Guadalupe. So, Saint Guadalupe is celebrated by Mexican and Mexican Americans because, of course, this is the patron saint of Mexico. So millions of pilgrims on this day visit the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe to celebrate the festival, which marks one of said several apparitions of the Virgin Mary. Um, the Catholic believers say this visitation of the Virgin Mary was witnessed by an indigenous Mexican man in 1531, on this day in December. Next, we have Hanukkah. Now, Hanukkah, of course, is celebrated by millions of Jews. It's an eight-day holiday, December 18th through December 26th. And this Jewish, these Jewish holidays commemorate the ancient miracle of the candle, one candle of oil that burned for eight nights, which, of course, is impossible and the rededication of the second temple of Jerusalem. This beautiful, these beautiful days of holiday are celebrated by the Festival of Lights, by gift exchange with family, of course going to temple, and different beautiful Jewish rituals and ceremonies. Then on December 21st through January 1st, we have winter solstice, or Yule, you'll recognize that word as part of Christmas, and that is celebrated by Wiccans and Neo-Pagans. And this celebrates the reemergence of the sun and the days now growing longer. So of course, December 21st marks the longest day of the year, and then the days start to become the longest night of the year, and the days start to become then longer, and the sun starts to reemerge. So this is celebrated by different rituals and ceremonies. Then we have, on December 25th, Christmas, or Christ Mass, which is celebrated by Christians and, of course, commemorates the birth of Jesus Christ. This is celebrated by going to church, often midnight mass on December 24th, which is Christmas Eve. Uh, it's a time to spend with family where we go home for the holidays. And of course, Christmas is also celebrated uh, as a secular holiday with the exchange of gifts, family gatherings, feasting, and just really enjoying being together in this time of celebration and rest. Then on December 26th, is Kwanzaa. So Kwanzaa was started in 1966 as a way to unite the African American community after the Watts riots. It was a way to bring together the African American community in support, love, and peace. So I think it's fascinating that there's so many different holidays all during the month 
of December, some on the very same day from very different religions. So to me, this means that there is a sacred mm, portal, if you will, an opening to greater grace, divine remembrance, an opening of the heart of rest, of going within, of being with family, of really going to what's important to the soul, important to us as beings, a time to come together all in the spirit of the God of love. Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. May it be a time of beauty, grace, of family, and most of all, of love and celebration.